Hello everyone, welcome back again. So in the continuation of our communication series, we have been doing barriers of communication. So we were doing the classifications of barriers. So in the earlier video, we have completed the physical barrier. So in this video, we are going to start with a new barrier that is semantic barriers. So students, here I go. This barrier is quite interesting. You know, uh, first of all, I would like to define the meaning of semantic. So student, as uh, you can see at your screen right now, I'm highlighting this part. I hope it is very much clear to you all. So the word semantics comes from the Greek word semantikos, which means relating to meaning in language. So this is very interesting barrier. So students, the word semantic that is comes from the Greek word and the name of the Greek word is semantikos. See, I am just focusing on these uh, words, uh, the origin of the word just because in case you get uh, the MCQ, so it is going to be very much helpful for you to uh, complete your MCQs, right? So I'm uh, as I was saying to you that Greek word semantikos which means relating to meaning in language. So it is very much easy to identify these kinds of barrier. So whatever barrier falls under the category of language, right? If you found language related barrier at your communication, so it is going to fall under the semantic types, right? So now I uh, further more define the semantic barrier. So here it is. Again, I'm highlighting, so do read it out with me. Cementing barriers refers to the obstacles caused in communication due to the problems with interpretation of word meanings, right? So whenever there is a problem, whenever there will be a faulty translation or any kind of barrier related to the meaning of word meanings. See, uh, while we uh, suppose we are communicating orally and whatever I am saying and if I am saying a very tough word that is not very much uh, understandable by you all, then it will be uh, going to hamper our uh, process of communication, right? So, uh, it is the duty of the sender as well as the receiver that while communicating, we have to uh, use the words accordingly. Means we, try, we have to try to avoid the semantic barriers in our communication. So, how we can avoid the semantic barriers? So, uh, suppose we are using very hard words. Suppose we are using very high level language. Um, while communicating and that language is not understandable by the other person. So what is the use of it, right? Our communication is going to be based. We are not going to get the desired outcomes, right? So the semantic barriers is related to all the barriers that comes under the language category, like the interpretation of word meaning get wrong, right? So it is known as the semantic barriers. I hope it is very much clear. Now, uh, let's see to the another uh, thing of the semantic barrier so it will going to be more useful for you so now uh, students we are going to discuss the root cause of semantic barriers right why these barriers occur what are the actual reasons that these barriers get occur what are the root and the very basic cause of the semantic barrier so as you can see at your screen so first one is bad expression right so here the bad expression means you are not using the correct language accordingly to the situation according to the receiver according to the need your expression was so bad right uh, and the expression also uh, falls under the like your pronunciation your vocabulary your saying of things your um, pronunciation or your voice tone modulation it also falls under the bad expression right i hope it is clear second one is same symbols or words with different meaning Right. So here it is very much important to understand this uh, point. Again, I am highlighting this. I hope uh, it is clear to you all. Right. So here I uh, was saying that same symbols or words with different meaning. Sometimes what happen like there are same symbols or the uh, different uh, words which have the same spelling that we call the homonyms. Right. So whenever it will um, occur, you have to be use these things carefully. Right. For example, here it is written uh, slip. Here it is written again. I'm highlighting. Please do focus. S-L-I-P slip. 
again the pronunciation is same the spelling is same but the meanings are different so we have to be very much aware while communicating that we are using the correct word and its uses right so um, right here it is slip to uh, slip means a small paper and the another word again it is having the same pronunciation same spelling it means a small mistake so we have to use both the slip according to the need and the situation of our communication right if you are not using it correctly then definitely our communication is not going to be fruitful i hope uh, this is very much clear next one is faulty translation so here the faulty translation means whenever we translate one language to the another language definitely we never follow uh, while translating the word to word uh, translation suppose if i have given you a hindi paragraph and i ask you to translate that hindi paragraph into english if the person is not aware about the language rules so what he will do he just he is just going to translate one word one word by word and that translation get wrong definitely right so uh, uh, these kinds of faulty translation if we use our, at our communication then our communication is going to have some barriers right and then it is going to be adversely affect right next one is unclarified assumption this is also a very important barrier under the category of semantic barrier we can call it as a root cause how see unclarified assumption means whenever the thing goes on so uh, assumptions means whenever th the things goes at guess work right um, here it is saying that whenever two persons are communicating they must have this mutual understanding a cooperation a sense of responsibility and both the sender and the receiver should use a complete sense of communication so here the complete sense of communication means whatever the language or whatever the words or ideology is used by the sender or the receiver at the time of communication it should be complete in nature if there is any kind of loophole loophole in the sense if the information is incomplete in nature and they are just leaving out that information uh, or they are uh, thinking that the particular information is complete but it, it was not complete so what will happen the other person is going to guess the further information he can add more things on it if you are going to give uh, unclarified or um, an incomplete complete information to the other person so this uh, get a very root cause of the semantic barriers that is unclarified assumption right what will happen if you are not giving the complete information so the other party is going to guess and the other party is going to guess or suppose so the he can add further things he can uh, remove out the important information anything can happen so means whatever will happen it is going to affect our communication right and the next one is very much important you all must be aware with this like the technical jargons see technical jargons means uh, we have to avoid using the technical jargons while we are communicating see what uh, what happen like uh, just suppose and imagine you are a very normal normal person you are a normal human being in the sense of a common man right you are a very layman person and you are meeting a doctor and you go uh, to the hospital and talk about your medical history or whatever you are discussing some kind of health issues with your doctor and your doctor is uh, very uh, using very high level language he is using various kinds of technical jargons or medical terminology obviously as a layman person we are not aware we haven't read through we haven't did that course we are not very much aware about the medical terminology so whatever the doctor is saying it's going out of our mind so these are the technical jargon so always remember you have to use your language accordingly to the layman perspective right uh, like you have to always use the common man language the language which is understandable by the common man do not try to over so do not try to display of your knowledge to the common man it it is going to just be um, adversely affecting the our process of communication right so i am saying uh, that technical jargons is also the root cause of the semantic barriers so avoid using 
jargons avoid using hard and difficult words that is not understandable by the other party use the layman language which is easily understandable by you and the other person and the other person is going to retain that information for a longer period of time if you are using so difficult jargons that every person every human being is going to open the dictionary for it or just to do the google search it is not uh, applicable right it is not fruitful in the part of the communication what will happen it will be a very time taking and long process so avoid using jargon next one is not able to decode the body language and gestures it also falls under this category of semantic barriers somehow that uh, what happen like if some person is saying a particular word for example just suppose if i'm saying uh, congratulations right so the body language as well as my um, whole um, facial expression and gesture is very much going to be happy and very cheerful very joyful that i'm going to wish somebody congratulation you have achieved this congratulation you did this like this right but if somebody is saying in a very plain manner like congratulations means the how beautiful the word congratulation is means you are giving your best wishes to somebody you are wishing uh, him or her uh, you are applauding him right means applauding uh, for a good cause so you must feel the joy at your face at your heart too so right so here it is written not able to decode the body language and gesture also affect our communication if it affects so it somehow falls under the semantic barrier see as you know that the non verbal expression is also the part of the communication and non verbal expression if you use correct word with a correct gesture like congratulation and you are very much happy your voice tone is so full of liveliness then it will be going to be more effective right so always use your body language your voice your tone and match it with your words if you are doing so then definitely your communication is going to be very much effective right so uh, students that is all for today's lecture these are the some root causes of uh, semantic barriers i hope this is very much clear to each and every one if you found any problem please let me know so thank you so much for your listening we are going to continue the series the series of barriers in the next video we are going to have another classification of barriers right thank you so much